Dude, stop beating yourself up. If you really want to improve your life like to the next level, follow these three steps. Anytime you do or say something that you wish you hadn't or that you regret. Before we get into it, I just wanna reiterate, stop beating yourself up because it does nothing for you. Nothing good or productive comes out of that and in fact, it'll keep you stagnant or moving backwards. Think about it, if you have negative emotions directed at yourself or someone else, it isn't hurting anyone but you. If you're feeling resentment or anger or whatever towards someone else, is that really affecting them? Nah, probably not. But is it affecting you? Oh yeah, it is. The goal of this video is to show you how to easily move on from these less desirable emotions and feelings and how to actually make them productive and work for you. So I want you to, right now, think of something that you're holding on to. Something you did that maybe didn't work out, something you said to someone that you wish you hadn't, maybe something you noticed that you did that you aren't exactly proud of, that doesn't align with who you want to be or who you see yourself as or who you strive to be. An example of this could be, God gossiping about a friend or saying something to a loved one that you kind of wish you hadn't. Okay, do you have that thing in mind? If you do, and if you feel comfortable, comment it below and share it with the rest of us. Now, you have to be really willing to look at yourself under a microscope and ask yourself, who do you really want to be? Does this action, this feeling, this thought, whatever, line up with that version of you that you want to be? It's probably not. So the first thing you need to do is take note. Take note of whatever you did or whatever you said and just bring that awareness in. And I'll tell you what, if you, if you can do that, you're already way ahead of the majority of people that can't even take accountability for their own actions and their own words. It's really difficult for people to do. It does get easier with time, but if you don't even have that awareness, if you can't even pinpoint something you said or something that you did that you regret, you're not ready to grow. <laughs> I'll just be honest. <laughs> so if you've already gotten this far with step one and you've humbled yourself in knowing that you could have done something better, you should be proud of yourself. Cause shit, like you're already immensely ahead, okay? <laughs> now, I also want you to take note of how this action makes you feel. Do you feel guilty? Do you feel disappointed in yourself? Do you feel shameful? Do you feel regret? Do you feel anger? Do you feel sad? The list goes on and on. How does this action that you did make you feel and this is important so definitely take note of this all right next and this one is difficult but you can't move on to step number two unless you've done step number one you can't change anything and you can't do anything about anything in your life if you don't first have the freaking awareness okay so don't even move on to this step unless you've got the first one figured out whatever it was and the emotion it brought you we have to learn how to release judgment on the things that we did that we perceive to be wrong or or not in alignment with that person that we want to be. So how do we do that? I want you to look at yourself as like a, almost like in third person. And also, sidebar, understand that you're human and you're gonna make mistakes and that's okay. And this process is going to help you through that. But let's see back to number one, stop beating yourself up. Stop beating yourself up. And now we will release judgment. You are deciding in this moment that you refuse to hold on to this negative emotion or whatever and you will move past it and move through it. Moving through it is really the better way to go because we're facing this shit head on, okay? So we don't wanna just shove it down and forget about it. If you move through it, that's really where the growth and the change occurs, okay? So we're moving through our problems. <laughs> You know, sometimes this, and if you're having trouble like looking at yourself as a, a third person, um, think of it as like a Sims. Like you're like a Sims character, okay? So it's like, you know, you're playing your little game with your little Sims character and you're like, oh shit, oops, didn't mean to do that, won't do that again. Look at it that way. And I want to be clear here, this is not victimizing yourself, okay? We wanna stay away from victimizing ourselves. That is the ultimate way to stay stuck in your life. I. I cannot stand people that victimize, victimize themselves. And like, we've all been there. I've freaking done it, you know? But like, if you actually want to grow and you actually want to change and be happier and bring more fulfillment and all the things that my channel is about, you've got to get out of victim mode. And you know what? If you guys want, I'll do a video on that too. Um, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video on victimization because it's 
bullshit. Ugh, it irks me. Okay, that was a rant. Okay, let's keep going with the steps. <laughs> Next, and for some of you, this might be the hardest part. For me personally, this is the easiest part, and that is finding the lesson in the circumstance. Now, I want you to go back to that emotion that I told you to identify in step number one. And let's go back to, let's go back to the gossiping example. Say you feel guilty for gossiping about your family member, your friend, whoever, and you feel guilty about it. This doesn't align with who you are. So the goal here is that you don't want to feel guilty about gossiping about someone you love. That's what it really comes down to. So you have to figure out, you know, I don't want to feel X emotion for doing or saying why. Like that's what the first two steps kind of like encompass to, okay? So how do you make sure that you don't feel that again? It's honestly really easy. You just have to monitor yourself all the time. Growing is not an easy thing, but staying the same sucks way worse, <laughs> okay? So I'm telling you, it's worth doing the work and it's worth monitoring your actions and your thoughts and your words. And so you wanna monitor yourself and catch yourself every time you find yourself gossiping. And whenever you find yourself doing it, and again, see back to number one, bringing that awareness in, okay? Whenever you catch yourself doing that, this process, this three-step plan will pop up. And you go through it and you do it again, and you do it again, and you do it again until the lesson is complete and you don't do it anymore. You will eventually be able to phase yourself out of it and you won't even have to think to do it anymore because it won't be a thing in your life. It won't be something that you think. It won't be something that you do or feel or whatever because you have identified and worked through, not past, through the lesson of why you feel this way and you did the work to make sure eventually it didn't happen again. It doesn't happen again. And you just do this with everything that you tend to beat yourself up on, everything, every every resentment and anger and victimization, okay, that you feel bad or guilty about in your life. That's This could be something you did yesterday. This could be something you did 20 fucking years ago. All right, this works for everything, but you have to be willing to scrutinize yourself Put yourself under the microscope, microscope, <laughs> little tiny baby soap, uh, the microscope, and analyze yourself and work through it and do the work. How can you expect to change and grow and evolve if you're not doing shit about it? You have to one, take note, two, release judgment, three, identify the lesson learned, and four, implement that shit. Okay, implement it, work on it, do it in your life. It, it's, it's all about repetition until it doesn't exist anymore. Think about someone who is, you know, learning how to drive a car, right? They're, they're sitting at the front wheel. It's their first time driving a car and they're like, okay, okay, turn the car on, put foot on brake. Okay, put it in drive. Okay, release the brake and press the gas and they have to walk themselves through this the first time, the second time, the tenth time, but it becomes a little more automatic each time until eventually they don't even have to think about it anymore because it becomes automatic. Okay, they don't have to worry about it because they put the repetition in, they put the work in, and they wanted to learn how to drive the car. So learn how to drive your mind. Oh, mic drop. <laughs> But seriously though, like stop overcomplicating it and stop bitching out and stop victimizing yourself and start putting in the work to do these processes and implement these things and change your life and be happy and grow and evolve as a person because you want to do that. You And I know you want to do that because you wouldn't be on my channel otherwise. You wouldn't be listening to this video otherwise. So do it for yourself, not for anyone else. You know, other people that you love, yeah, they're a byproduct in this. They will definitely benefit from you doing this, all right? But do it for you. Do it for you because you deserve it. You deserve to be the version of you that you want to be. But it's not going to happen overnight and no one else can do it for you. If you guys found value in this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.